then when I was 13, there was this boy. We were hanging out after school one day, supposed to be doing homework, doing a little kissing and nuzzling, pretty platonic, but then he wanted to imitate those sexy commercials we'd seen. You know, the ones where the couples would feed each other. So we sat on the floor in front of the fridge and he'd go through and find things. And I closed my eyes and opened my mouth, completely trusting. He found a chocolate strawberry and let me take a bite. And then he put some whipped cream on his finger, let me lick it off. <coughs> it was fun and sensual. My body was having all kinds of feelings, tinglings here and there. And then he said, hey, wait, baby, I got another one for you. Keep your eyes closed. And I heard him rustling around, but I closed my eyes, and he said, all right, baby, now open up. And I opened my mouth, and I tasted salt and sweat and this tangy nastiness, and I couldn't breathe. When I got out of there, I didn't tell anyone what he did. At first, I ate to get the taste out of my mouth. And then I ate to get those feelings back. I can't ever trust a man with my body again. But I can always trust food. What is normal, anyway? I don't know. Me neither. Maybe it's who we are on the inside. Not the outside. The real me. If you really knew me, you'd know that I desperately long to be accepted. I am afraid of not winning this battle. I have a hard time with the concept of forgiving. I smile all the time because I have no idea what else to do. If, if you, you really, really knew me, me, I'm starting to become comfortable with that. And I'm ordinary. And there is nothing wrong with that. I cry when you hug me because I know the pain that I'll feel when you finally do let it go. As I'm smiling and laughing, there are voices screaming and degrading me in my own head. If, if you, you really knew me. me. Sometimes I feel like I don't belong, and I feel like an alien because my outlook on life seems so foreign. No one could berate me any more than I do myself. I hate feeling needy, but I long to be taken care of. I simultaneously crave both standing out and fitting in. I feel like a failure when I'm different, and I feel like a failure when I blend. I wear my weight like an armor. If, if you, you really, really knew me, me, the bigger my smile, the larger my pain. Whenever I do something stupid and think about it later, the me in the memory is always fat and ugly. I'm afraid that I could really succeed, but I never let myself try. Because what if I fail? I have no confidence in my own abilities. I'm afraid that this will kill me. If you really knew me! It's me. 
the essence of me. Today, I stop judging myself based on standards of sexiness rather than beauty. Today, I stop letting others define my beauty. And I claim my beauty for myself. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. At least that's what they say. Well, I'm beholding all of you. I think you're all beautiful. I feel like I have been born again. I am a born again woman. I feel like I have been born again. I am a born again woman. I feel like I have been born again. I am a born again woman. I feel like I have been born again. I am a born again woman. I feel like I have been born again. I am a born again woman. Now we're talking. If beauty is in the eye of the beholder, then behold yourself. Thank you. 